a few weeks ago, I was talking with Dr. Jessica Kennard. She's with Women's Care Florida. We were talking about the side effects of the COVID-19 vaccine. She told me she's really concerned how many people are putting off routine appointments while the pandemic is happening. So I followed up with her this week to go more in depth about the problems that could happen and the trend she's seeing. What we are going to be seeing moving forward is kind of a ripple effect of that where patients are going to start coming back to the office for their screenings and they have been on delay. And because of that, we may see a spike in the incidence of cancers, which I think um, my other providers are already seeing in breast cancer, which I am certainly starting to see in cervical cancer. Dr. Kennard told me these cancers are more locally advanced than what they're used to seeing. So here's the big issue. This drastically impacts how they treat cervical cancer because surgery is an option up to a certain point. Then they rely on radiation and chemotherapy. Here's the other issue. There is a cervical cancer screening algorithm. It has certain checkups and exams every few years, depending on how old you are. And that set timeline is being interrupted. Once you hit age 30, their recommendation is for co-testing with pap smear and HPV testing, and that's every five years. So you can imagine a patient that is on their fifth year to due to come in for screening, and now all of a sudden they're at sixth or their seventh year since they've had their last pap smear, then that becomes a major problem. Dr. Kennard says you need to get that regular checkup when you're supposed to because it will help detect pre-cancer or rule out cancer. In fact, right before the pandemic, the World Health Organization launched a global strategy to end cervical cancer. They say we have the tools and we can eliminate it. So here's the bottom line. The more proactive you are about this, can, uh, cervical cancer can be a completely preventative disease.